Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline. And I just found out that I was awarded a trip that I bid on. So this month has been a little bit funny because I was released to go back to work after my on-duty injury and it was like half of the month. So basically what they've done is they let me build my own schedule. So I'm only going to get paid for what I fly and I bid on another trip. I think it's identical to the trip that I just flew to Sacramento. So I'll be doing that. So tomorrow I leave Miami in afternoon and then I will come back to Miami on Wednesday morning, just before 7 a.m., the day before Thanksgiving. So that all works out for me. I'm actually happy about that. I'm not sure if you could hear the washing machine going, but I washed my uniforms and I just realized I forgot to wash my scarves. So I'm washing my scarves and my pantyhose right now. And then I'm going to pack my bag and um, get to bed pretty early. Uh, first, I need to book my commuter flight. So after I pause this for a minute, I'm going to book my commuter flight to Miami to make sure that I get there to work this trip. I will say that you probably noticed that I did decorate for Christmas. And the reason that is, is the last week before I was going to be released to come back to work, I went ahead and put up all the decorations. Since I was at home for so long, I had the energy to take things out of storage, hang things up. So that's why I've decorated a little bit early. Yes, it is before Thanksgiving, but then I anticipate my schedule being really hectic next month. And um, I know that if I didn't get the decorating done, now then i probably wouldn't do it in december so ta-da christmas decorations but come with me on today's adventure which will continue on to tomorrow all right come on guys it's the following morning five o'clock a.m i have my bags here on the ground just so i don't forget them and i have a freshly hot brewed cup of coffee to sip while i get ready Today's adventure continues. I just parked my car in uh, the parking lot so I can catch my commuter flight to uh, Miami. It is in the 40s. It's so, uh, it's cold here, which is, I'm, you know, I didn't expect it to be so cold considering how hot the summer was, but there's this layer of like dense fog that sits like on the swampy areas and on the lakes, even on the runway, I can see it here. But this is a continuation of yesterday's adventure. Today, I start a three-day trip. I am flying from Miami to Dallas and then Dallas to Sacramento, where I will have a 25-hour layover. But I'm wearing new shoes today. Uh, it's always scary wearing a new pair of shoes on a, such a long day, but I'll keep you posted to let you know how I did with them, whether they work or whether they don't work. If you look out that way, I'll zoom in. There's that thick layer of fog out there. Just waiting for the shuttle now. Okay, so we made it to Miami. I spent about an hour just finishing up a documentary I had started last night. I'm at the gate ahead of time. Have about 45 minutes before I actually have to be here, but just going to find some peace and quiet and just people watch or read a book. Okay, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I am excited to go and work this trip, even though it's to Sacramento again, because it's a great location. The beds in the, that hotel are really, really comfy. And it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be like a winter storm there. So it's like the perfect place to snuggle up and I'm getting paid. Oh, by the way, this trip is a red flag trip. So I get paid extra because they were in dire need of having people cover this. So it all works out sort of in my favor. Just waiting here now for the plane to arrive, then to scan on, to board, to do my safety checks and
it's very cloudy here in Dallas. Um, I have one hour before I have to be at the next gate, and that's the flight from Dallas to Sacramento. So I did buy a spicy Southwest chicken salad from Chick-fil-A. I'm going to eat that and head to the next gate to continue on. So I just put my bags to park right here. I have an extra napkin and here I have my yummy salad. If you've never had the spicy chicken Southwest salad at Chick-fil-A, I highly recommend it. You get a bunch of vegetables and the chicken is actually quite spicy. As I have my lunch, I am just going to people watch, an airplane watch. The thing I love about working during the holidays is seeing all of the different airport Christmas decorations. After flying for another 3 hours and 43 minutes from Dallas, I am now in Sacramento, California where it is raining. It's cold outside. I can feel it through the jet bridge. Okay, here I am. I made it to Sacramento, safe and sound. Uh, what could I tell you about today's flight? Um, it was a long day. I started my day at 5 a.m. And it is now 8.24 here in California. And so it's 11, 8, 9, 10. I think it's 11.24 in Miami. So I've been up for a long time, but it's okay. I still feel energized. I'm just going to lounge here and just wind down. Um, but about the flight, the flights, both of them are easy. The crew was amazing. Um, all my crews are always amazing. Knock on wood. I don't have any negative things to ever say about anyone, everyone. And it's probably who they hire. Mostly everyone gets along all the time. Um, but I realized, because I haven't been vlogging in such a long time, that I didn't do a room tour last time. So I will do a quick room tour. Um, it is raining outside, as you saw in the little clip that I filmed from the window. But the flight was great. I met a flight attendant who was jump seating that studied fashion, and we talked about fashion for a while, and she was wearing this really neat avant-garde top. Um, so we talked about that for a little bit, talked about some documentaries that we both have seen. Um, I have new shoes that I purchased at Macy's during one of their big like shoe sales, last chance sort of sales. So I bought these super cute Calvin Klein shoes. I'll post a picture of them right there and they fit comfy, but to wear them for like, how long have I been on my feet? 15 hours? It was a little too much so I did have to switch to my flats inside the airplane but I think my shoes will be more comfortable once I break them in um, I will say I brought some homework <laughs> I am sending Christmas cards out this year because all of my family and friends they're mostly in Arizona and I live in Florida because that's where I work or that's where my home base is. So I brought my Christmas card list and I'm going to write my Christmas cards as I lounge in this comfy bed on my 25 hour layover and knock those out of the way. Then when I go home, I can buy stamps, mail them out and be good to go. But let's get on with this room tour. So here we have the front door. There is a peephole cover, so don't have to worry about covering that. I will put my extra locks on. We have a closet with an iron, hangers, 
a luggage rack and ironing board and a safe. It's a rather big room. And here we have the bathroom, if I can find the light. There you go, it's auto, that was an automatic light. Big bathroom, a great big shower with a couple of shower heads, or a shower head and a shower wand. And then this handy dandy sliding door, the full length mirror, so you can make sure that you are in tip top, looking tip top your best. Nice comfy bed. I'm glad that there are USB chargers as well as the regular charger because I am short one square, one charging square. I need to put that on my list for the next time I go to the store. This Target bag was from my last Target trip here to Sacramento. That was my last trip. I'm here again, but this came in handy because I put some water in there for this long layover. I also brought a crossword or word search puzzle book to do something other than just watch TV. I actually want to get back to writing. I used to have a blog and I used to write about a bunch of different things. And I'm thinking about writing or I'm, I, I'm at least going to start a journal because I just have been feeling inspired lately. And let's see, I heard it's gonna rain tomorrow as well. I almost fell. Um, I hope it's going to rain tomorrow as well, but let's see if this view is different. I'm on the 18th floor. Last week, I was on the 26th floor, so the view is a little bit different. See that big rain cloud up ahead? But that is it. That is the end of day one of this three-day trip. I just wrapped up day one. I'm going to relax. Day two technically is like not really working because that's at my 25 hour layover. And then day three is going to consist of flying a red eye from Sacramento to Miami. And I finish on the Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. I finish my work day at just before 7 a.m. So how wonderful is that? I think it's quite wonderful. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And to see new videos about my life as a flight attendant, then uh, please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. Until next time, bye guys, and thank you for watching.